Hello everyone, in the last video we have seen a brief introduction about JSON. Now in this video let us see how to work with JSON data. There are two ways that we work with JSON data. One is sending JSON data to the server and another is reading JSON data from the server. That is nothing but an incoming data and an outgoing data. Now in this video let us see how to work with incoming data. So here I have a simple JSON example project which is an MVC project and I have controller home and an empty index go to view which is an empty thing. What I have done I have added script file that is nothing but your jquery and I have dragged that jquery script file here a reference and now I am ready to write my jquery code. Basically there are four types of data that we work with. So in this scenario we are going to work for incoming data and for four types of incoming data. Say I have done some calls to the server from here, some calls. And finally, the server has returned JSON data. JSON data is nothing but it is a string. That's it. Now, how do I take that JSON data, pass it and use it? My server can send me four types of data, basically four types of data. First is a single variable. It can send me a single value. It could be an integer or a string. Second, it can send me array of variables. Third, I could get an object. Fourth, I could get a list of objects. So basically, if you take any kind of project, you will be working with these four types of data. One is a single variable, another is array of variable, third is an object, fourth is array of object or you can say list of objects. So let us start with a single variable. Whatever I get from the server is a string. So in your JavaScript, you represent string with single quotation. And format of JSON data is parenthesis id in quotation colon 1. So this is the string that I get from a server or you can say from some service. It could be a web API or it could be a WCF RESTful service or it could be from a controller in MVC. So whatever I get, I'm storing it in a variable X. And as I know very well, it is a string. Now I need to parse it to JSON object. So I have a method that is parse which is present in JSON object. So I'll say JSON dot parse X. Now it is going to convert this string to an object. And it is being referred with K. Now K is referring to the JSON object that has been passed. Now I'll say K dot ID and I can read it. Now let me execute this. So I get one. So this is for single variable. What if I have an array and how do I represent an array? Even that code is ready with me. Let me comment it out. It is simple, simple coding. I represent say for example, so this is how I represent a single variable. Now, array normally I use square brackets then this so it is an array of variable and the values could be 1 2 3 4 and this is the data that we get from server and it is a string I get it in a variable x, I go for parsing in k. Because it is an array, I can access it with the index. 
so this is the zeroth element then 1 2 and 3 so i have four variables so indexes will be 0 1 2 3 so for example i want to ac access an element at index 2 index 2 is nothing but the value 3 or uh, let me give some different values 10 42 39 and 48 42 now let me comment this out first we will see that in a while so I get 39 at index 2 0 1 2 now if I want to iterate through all the elements then I have for each loop of jQuery for each list item i is a variable incrementing variable then i have item so it will take out each and every element and store it in item then i'll display item dot id now, let me comment out this now here i should get one two three four pop-ups with four values 10 42 39 40 that's it this is how you work with array of variables. Now, if I want to work with object, now how do I represent object? The way in which we have represented a single variable, in the same way I can represent an object. So even I have code ready with me for that, for single object, so single object, id comma name so this is an object of class employee say which has properties id and name so i am going to get the object in the form of string so this is pure string what do i need to do again parse it and refer it with k or any variable then i can say k dot id you can see that it will display in the license k dot name now let me execute this it should display one manzoor i get it so i can read that finally in the same way i can work with list of objects let me comment out this for each loop this is a single object so multiple object i'll just separate it by comma and i have a square bracket and single quotation again whatever i get from the database or from the server is a string basic rule is parse it to json refer it with an object then access that particular element so k of one is nothing but i'm going to access this object two and rick k of one dot name save this let me execute it to rick that's cool now what if i want to iterate through all the elements again i can have my for each loop and here you can say i need not to use index because in each iteration it is going to pick that object and store it in item then I'll say item.id, item.name. Let me comment out this and execute it. 1, 2, 3, 4. So finally, we have seen four types of data which is incoming. So the basic rule that you need to remember is whatever I get from the server is string and I need to parse it to JSON object and use it. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much.